Hello and welcome to the Madhouse everyone, Trudot here and in this video I am going to go over a beginner tutorial for uh, Victor Vran so I'm going to go over the basics of the game and hopefully teach you guys something new so uh, basically the most important thing for Victor Vran is uh, the way the combat system works so basically you can uh, you can dodge, this is called a dodge and then you can jump and these things are very important since uh, this is basically a skilled game, your skill is going to be a really, really big factor in the difficulty that you're going to feel while playing. And the next big thing uh, are the weapons. Basically, you have seven weapons, and I have explained every single one of them in the review, but I am going to go over them again. So, uh, basically, you have a hammer, you have a cannon, you have a shotgun, you have a sword, uh, you have this uh, rapier here and you have the scythe so basically these weapons actually alter your uh, your game style every single one of them has different abilities and you can just see the abilities you can just hover over them and then see what they do so they have three abilities each uh, one is going to be just an auto attack and then two special abilities now next thing are uh, demon powers so we get two demon powers uh, in the beginning you're going to start with only one demon power but uh, eventually you're going to get two there are uh, several demon powers so I honestly recommend you try all of them out and then see which one you like some of them are better for certain situations and then some of them are just like good overall for example this diamond uh, this diamond is just basically a magical shield that will uh, make you immune to any sorts of damage the shield has as you can see absorb damage 1700 that is the amount that it is going to absorb and after that it just uh, runs out and it goes back to normal health now these demon powers you can activate them by using overdrive this is my overdrive this is going to be your overdrive bar right here that you can see and that one is going to depend on the outfit that you choose at the beginning of the game now I have this vigilantes outfit that is going to give me overdrive on crit but there are several outfits and you actually have to choose one at the start of the game basically this cavaliers here uh, you gain it uh, every second over time but attacks are not going to grant overdrive and there are different ones like the vanguard which is basically a tank and the adventurer which gives you another destiny slot for example so uh, after after this we also have destiny cards now destiny cards are really important because they customize your character a lot these are my slots for destiny cards and they require points basically if i want to get uh, another five pointer here that i'm sure i have there we go we, we have a five point strength i cannot put it in here because i don't have enough destiny points uh the max number of destiny points is going to be 20 and uh, the max number of slots that you can actually equip is going to be five but you can get up to six with this it increases destiny slots by one and uh, there are two types of destiny cards there are wicked and there are divine this is what a wicked one looks like and this is going to be a, a divine one you can see from the color and these also have rarity uh, this is just basic rarity this is green this is yellow as you can see and this is legendary so basically these destiny cards are going to alter your character a lot and actually improve it a lot so you can see they give you different bonuses uh, on equip and another important thing is that you don't have any armor slots you just have the weapon slots uh, the divine card slots and the demon powers now we also have potions we have two of them two slots you're going to start with only one but uh, you are going to get the second one as well and um, there are not only potions there are also bombs there we go this is uh, a fire bomb adrenaline shot so different things that might help you overcome a tough situation now let's uh, let's go over the town and see what we get here we have a vendor here that is going to sell you potions and some uh, some weapons and we also have another vendor here this one is just for weapons we have the map which is really really important basically you can teleport to any area you want with the map and every single area is going to have five challenges in here and completing a challenge is going to reward you with let's see here this one is going to give us a chest 
and from that chest we're going to get a piece of armor, destiny card, or demon power. Going back to the town, we have another vendor which is going to sell us destiny cards. They can sometimes be divine. Uh, I think they can be wicked as well, but I haven't really seen one yet. And we have the stash here in which you can just put stuff. Uh, as usual and the stash is going to be shared across all your characters uh, Actually, it doesn't matter if you are on hard mode or normal mode the stash is shared So basically it just doesn't matter now. I Mentioned hard mode and normal mode. this character is on hard. I have all these hexes active. There are five of them and They basically make the game harder and I cannot deactivate them like I can turn off hard mode but that is not something that I want to do. And if you turn off hard mode and play on standard, basically, you can activate each hex at a time. You can activate just one hex, uh, you can get maybe two, even all of them, but it's not. the difficulty is not going to be exactly the same as, uh, as on hard mode. But I honestly suggest you guys playing uh, standard. Hard mode can uh, be overwhelming uh, when you start, because everything has a lot of health and everything regens, which is actually the biggest problem. Uh, and uh, you might get a little bit tired, you might not actually like the game a lot because of that factor, because everything takes ages to kill. Now, let's go back to weapons. Basically, what I found on my playthrough is that um, I found a weapon, I really liked it, and then I never changed to another one. And that is a big big issue because some weapons actually work better against uh, other types of mobs and uh, I suggest just going through them I don't know maybe every five levels or so just go through all the all the weapons and see if they are actually better now let's go to leveling uh, basically you don't have you don't have a talent tree you don't have anything like that your character gets bonuses as uh, it levels up but so do the, mo the mobs so basically the, the zones are scaling with you there are certain thresholds that uh, they don't scale every single level but uh, at a certain threshold like at every three levels or five levels the zone is going to scale so it doesn't matter if you complete the game at level 20 or at level 50 which is max level uh, the monsters are going to be exactly the same in difficulty, at least in theory. So you don't have to worry about that, you don't have to worry about grinding levels uh, because you don't really need to. Uh, the game is very fast paced so you can just get into it and um, if you don't want to do the, the challenges just go for the objectives and there will not be any drawbacks, you will not have to go back and farm a zone to get levels or anything like that. Now, I have left a big part of the game out intentionally because uh, this here is transmutation and this becomes active at level 16 and this is basically a big 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 part of the game now in here you can improve items or uh, or get better ones so you need to look at recipes and uh, I will not say it like knowing them because you don't have to know them they are right here uh, the developers made this so easy for us these are the recipes we don't have to guess them or anything ridiculous like that they are right here you can see them and uh, you can just look so we have recipes for weapons for gambling if we so desire we put three of uh, the same rarity in there and we get a random one with the same rarity of course and uh, Outfits we can actually get uh, different uh, We can improve the ammo and improve the special property of the outfits as well as diet Which is going to give us another color, which is great demon powers destiny cards power stones basically what I talked about now There is another thing That you might want to know about Which uh, are going to be these power stones now power stones uh, you use them in a transmutation device and they basically improve something. Uh, they are extremely rare, so yeah, you you might want to save them uh, until you're really sure you want that uh, tran transmuted on your item or uh, outfit or whatever you want to improve. And these were basically the basics of the game. Now I want to give you guys a few a few hints and a few tips about it. Uh, basically, as I said, don't get stuck on one weapon. 
uh, if bosses are too difficult don't go for the challenges just try to kill the boss in theory every single weapon should work so you do not have to worry about that but some of them are going to work better for uh, certain encounters so if a boss is too difficult try switching your weapons try updating your uh, destiny slots uh, your destiny cards basically so as you level you're going to get more um, more destiny points, uh, more slots, so you can just optimize them. This is basically your build. So we do not have a, a skill tree, a talent tree or anything like that. This is basically your build. This is the way you customize your character with these uh, destiny cards and uh, as well as uh, demon powers. So definitely try all the demon powers out, see which ones you like. They also scale with your level, so you don't have to worry about that. They have rarity though, so getting a better rarity, a rare uh, instead of an uncommon or a common uh, is going to be absolutely better. You can improve them in uh, the transmutation device. And uh, basically this was uh, pretty much it. Uh, the game is pretty easy on standard. As at least that is what I find. Um, I played hard mode. I have a different standard character that uh, I went up to like level 30. And uh, it was it was a big difference. If you feel the game is too grindy then just go to standard. Uh, ignore hard mode altogether. You can do all the challenges without being on hard mode. You can just activate the hexes manually for for the ones that you need. And overall, I definitely suggest playing uh, playing just standard. Uh, I played hard mode because I wanted to see how it is. But some of the challenges are extremely tough on hard mode. I might even add some of them really, really hard and to the point of impossible. But it should be possible overall. Uh, this is a fun game, this is a game that you get into very very easily and uh, after you complete all the challenges you basically get new ones a little bit of a spoiler there you get elite challenges all across uh, the map for every single zone so the replayability factor is going to be huge I definitely enjoy the game, I am going to make more content about it uh, I have secrets coming up for every single zone, uh, a video for every zone. There are short videos, so if you have a, a, a little bit of trouble getting a certain secret, I am going to make a guide for every single zone. I am in the progress of doing that. Uh, and they are just going to come gradually, and I'm going to show my build and everything, basically what I do. Thing is, builds change with the weapons you choose, so if you get another weapon, you're going to have to change your destiny cards to make it better. So there are going to be plenty of builds out there, I'm going to show you guys everything and uh, I hope this really really helped you. Uh, these were the basics, this uh, I would have liked to know when I first started playing the game. And uh, yeah, just have fun and make sure you tune in for, for the content. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel and I shall see you all next time.